Hello everyone, I am SuperViper T302, and this is my Pack and Roll Remix 100% submission for SUDQ 2018. So I'll go into more what 100% is once I get started with the run, so let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, so... The first thing to explain about this game is how to go faster, right? Um, as you can see, we have this little boost mechanic that when you shake the Wii Remote, Pac-Man gets a smaller boost of speed in one direction. And, uh, this is like many uses, you can break open boxes with it, but you can also, obviously, you can use it to gain quite a bit of speed really quickly. And when you do it off of a vertical incline, when you're going up a slope, um, you can gain quite a bit of height, too. And this will be useful for some skips later on in the run. So. The goal of 100% is, um, to be kind of collecting, um, all the, you have to collect every pack dot in every level, and every ghost in every level. And the reason why those are the requirements, those are the only requirements for 100% actually, is that, um, as you see here, if you want to notice for a split second, those are the only things that the game keeps track of on the level select menu. So, um, this kind of combines aspects of both all ghosts and all pack dots. Um, if you've watched both of those submissions before this one, if you haven't, I would highly suggest doing that. Um, this level is a really good example of that because we have the, um, not mean to boost there. We have the backtracking that's required for all ghosts, and the interesting routing of all pack dots. That ghost is not usually there. So yeah, obviously the RNG from all ghosts is still present. The ghosts just kind of move how they want to, and sometimes they can just be absolute pains in the neck. Um, and also, there's added risks in this category, but sometimes they'll actually grip pack dots while I'm trying to eat the ghosts. Um, which sometimes barely leaves me enough time to actually go to eat the ghosts, and if they give me really bad patterns, but sometimes you just can't eat them, and that's obviously really bad. That shouldn't be too much of a problem here. I mean, there's not a whole lot of stages where I'd actually have a really big risk of missing ghosts. There's only like one or two, or I even have, it's even remotely a threat. So, if you guys are one that's true, alright, there's those two pack dots that are hidden in the wall are really terrible. Um, they took way too long to find, but now we're out of that level. This is probably the shortest level in 100%. It's around 30 seconds long. Um, and I'm going to do a select boost here to skip this ramp. And when I'm boosting into these boxes, I'm doing a technique where I press D to kind of halt Pac-Man in place. Um, which just kind of prevents him from getting too much knockback from the boxes, or even just boosting in general. You can boost into the wall in um, because the last thing we want is to boost into a box and then have a ton of knockback and then have Pac-Man fall off the edge and die. So that would be bad. So thankfully, this break mechanic allows that to not happen. So this level is pretty easy. Um, assuming I can get to the gate. Um, in 1-4, we are introduced to Night Pack, which essentially makes Pac-Man heavier and slower. But he has some useful properties. First of all, he won't take damage from these spears, which is kind of useful because you can use them to kind of propel Pac-Man forward. I tried to do it there, but it didn't quite work out, and you need really good to for it. Um, and you can also break through those metal boxes and break straight through wooden boxes like a uh, uh, normal Pac-Man can do. So right here, I have to be pretty specific. I'm gonna eat this ghost. Um, I have I eat all the pack dots before eating that ghost, so I spend less time in that room because I want that power pellet to be delayed for as long as possible so I can get to those pretty, much, pretty quickly. Um, otherwise, the power pellet could run out. And the thing is, if a power pellet runs out before I eat all the ghosts, or I die before I eat all the ghosts, um, then the power pellet doesn't come back. So I would have to redo the level. Essentially. There are situations where you can save it, but those are really rare. Play me through. I just kind of have to get to the end here. For the most part, this category is more similar to all packed off than this all the ghosts, but there's a few differences in terms of the all ghosts portion. Right, so now we're going to be heading on to 1-5. We're introduced to Light Pack in this level. So Light Pack is pretty broken in this game. Um, he essentially makes Pac-Man, obviously, lighter. Um, and uh, he gains a lot more height from like slow boosts and ledge grab hops and whatnot. And he also, by the way, those three pack offs are very easy to miss. He also lasts in midair for a lot longer, so it allows us to do some stuff like this. And that's just kind of a little mini skip you can do. Very easy to lose a lot of time in this run just because you miss like one pack dot and you have to kind of move pack it around to try to get it. 
when there's ghosts with a power pawn on them, and they're in those machines like that, the only way to really get it... Okay, I'm gonna get this track right here. Um, actually, there's a couple pack outs here that I can use, I think. Yep. Perfect. So I'm gonna get some pack outs off this ledge here. Um, I don't know how Namco is supposed- I don't know how Namco intends for you to find those casually, because they're- that ledge is pretty well hidden. Right, so I'm gonna try to get a pack dot as I fall there so that I don't have to wait on this platform for nearly as long. These three, and now this last part is really tricky. It's very easy to get back out here, but I didn't. I made it to the good part. Alright, so now we're on to World 2. Uh, world 2 is pretty straightforward in this category. Um, it's more, again, it's more similar to all Pack Dots than it is to all Ghosts. Mostly because the routes for those two categories, for these two, the routes for these two categories are very similar. So right here I'm going to ditch Light Pack, even though it is kind of useful. Um, normal Pack is fall slower, and it's actually better for those um, little log jumps that I do to skip through those logs. As far as I know, you actually can't get all the Pack Dots on this platform and make it without losing a cycle. So I have to make two trips here. These platforms aren't on global cycles. Um, they start moving once Pac-Man gets on the first one. Um, and to get these Pack Dots, you just kind of want to stay close to the edge here. Not, it, you have quite a bit of room for really to say. Right, I got the final part, which is just this long ramp. Um, there's a few ghosts along the way. The thing about this category that can be a little tricky is if you're eating a line of pack dots like that, and you have to go out of your way to eat a ghost, um, and this can vary depending on the situation and the RNG, but sometimes you can have to break that line, and that can be really hard to do, and it can also be really hard to get back on the line. And that's something that's just kind of tough about this category. That was a really good 2 dash one. Alright. 2-2 uh, is going to be our introduction to bounce pads. Um, which obviously can help pack upwards. And we're going to use them for some minor skips in this level. Um, coming up here. Um, in any percent you would use these. You basically were just going to use them to get up to higher sections of the level early. Um, it saves uh, just a small amount of time. The one coming up here saves probably like a second, but that's a second, and every every frame of speed running matters. There we go. So now this part is very, very tricky. It's very hard to get all the pack dots and stay fast enough to eat all the ghosts. So I'm gonna have to eat this pack dot with a sword boost here, hopefully. This is a little finicky. We don't really have a whole lot of room here. I'm just gonna... There we go. I'm going to need that last one. We'll boost up here. And now we're just gonna get light pack and fly across here to get these remaining pack dots, and hopefully I'll have enough. Um, I should have 125 up here, and I do. That's perfect. We got both the ghosts, so we're gonna head over to the goal. Alright, so now 2 3 is gonna be another good example of combining stuff from other categories, so of course we're going to have to deal with some backtracking that we do in all ghosts. Um, but we also have to get all the path dots in this first section, which thankfully isn't too hard. Um, unless you are like that and you miss some. I, I actually forgot those were there. But thankfully I don't have a whole lot left here. Alright, 71 is exactly what I need. This next section is pretty bad in 100% because not only do I have to deal with um, and staying on the lines and making sure I get all the pack dots. I also have to be quick enough in order to get the ghosts before they run away. So sometimes I have to leave the pack dot line for a little bit and then head over to eat a ghost and then head back, which can be really obnoxious. But I got some pretty good RNG there. Which we have for it. Um, the sec we're on to the third section of the level now. Apparently, I don't know how to count. Um, this section can go a variety of ways. Um, depending on what type of pop cycles you get. I got pretty decent cycles there. Now I have the infamous bull. So, okay, so the power pellet right now here, which is actually a good thing, if you get a high enough combo while eating a whole ton of ghosts, it's actually possible to start gaining extra lives, which you would think is a good thing, and it kind of is. But, um, if your life count changes at all, um, once from when you enter the level to when you exit the level, then the game will auto-save, and that wastes four and a half seconds every single time it happens. Sorry, I'm 
Hey, I went the right way. Going the right way out of this ball can sometimes be really hard because there's no visual cue, and so sometimes you just go the wrong way and you lose like five seconds. There we go. Alright, now we're on to the boss level. Um, boss levels are the same in every category, so the protocol for here is that to eat Golvis, I have to eat three power calls to make him eatable, and then um, I can eat him and I have to do this three times. That. So I have to do that two more times, and the power pots will always appear in the same spot on the fight. So I just know, so I know where they're going to be, so I can just get to them as quickly as possible. I'm gonna camp out near the third one because Galvis has. I have to wait for Galvis to run, anyways. Um, I don't want to have to chase him down, basically. And right here, I'm gonna grab Night Pack. Not only so I can break that box so it isn't in my way, but also to grab this power pot underwater. Um, you can get it without. Night pack, but it doesn't really matter because I have to, in terms of speed anyways, because I have to wait for Golvis here anyways. So, him, there we go. Him, and there we go. That is world two. Alright, so world three. As I said earlier, this category does combine aspects from both all ghosts and all pack dots, because that's essentially what it is, and both categories combine. This level is a pretty terrible example of that. Um, probably the... Probably the most annoying level, honestly. It's not the worst level, by any means. Um, I might still make the cycle. Okay, I still made that cycle. So I'm gonna grab Night Pack here, which is kind of... It's kind of a nuisance, because Night Pack can't really get a whole lot of momentum from those slopes. And I need to go across those slopes in order to get the other sections of the sections here. Because there's all... I need Night Pack, however, because I need to break some metal boxes to get power pods, not only that, but the pack dots will eat the ghosts. So, this one is by far the worst one. You have to kind of stay at the very back here, and then head over here, and then barely boost into the box in order to get there. I'm going to have to do a similar thing here to get to this side. Yeah, the night pack just does not get a whole lot of momentum. You could boost there, which would theoretically be faster, but it would be a lot more tricky to time it properly and get it down. Alright, so I just have one more ghost to eat here, and then I can move on to the second section. There we go, that's all the pack ups, so now we just gotta start with the gate here, which I already got some pack ups too, so I went away from Now I'm gonna grab light pack, and this next part of the level is pretty tricky to do well. I'm gonna do some ledge grab pops to get- I'm gonna do some ledge grab pops here, in this category I do it so that I'm ahead of this car by the time I get to this fourth platform, because this is the first platform where there are actually pack dots underneath the platforms. Um, there are three of them in this level. Uh, the second one, and the second, the next two are in the, under the next two platforms, and I know they are here. Um, but the good news is, I have to wait through under this car in order to get those remaining pack dots. But after this, I don't have to ride the car for the rest of the ride. I can just skip it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bounce up here, get those pack dots, and I'm going to let grab hop over to this platform, get these pack dots, and I'm going to do a slope boost to get to the final platform. This. Here, grab all these pack dots, go down, the gate, and go to the whole platform. That was a really good 3 1, honestly. 3 2 is a pretty straightforward level in this category, there's not a whole lot to say about it. Um, essentially, you just kind of have to go through here. Those, the section can be a pretty big pain, those ghosts like to get in the way. And the slopes kind of give you random bit momentum, sometimes they give you a lot of momentum. With the I kind of have to be quick here. There are two power pellets in this section, so if I miss all the ghosts with one of them, I'm really Alright, so I'm going to have to eat fly here with um, this power pellet. It's nice that that's there, otherwise I would have had to restart the level. I gotta go over here and grab these underwater pack pellets. These are pretty tricky to find because the water kind of obscures them. So I'm going to go through here. I have to go a little further back than I have to do in a category where all I have to do is open the gate. Um, I think I there's some extra pack up there. I could, I could get that normal pack card, but I have to eat Blinky in the next section anyways because he's required for all ghosts. And also, um, normal pack moves a lot faster than my pack. So it ends up working out in the end. If I can't eat him, I would have had to restart the level again because I need him for all ghosts. 
Okay, he's lost Carousel. That's all the pack dots. So now I have to use my pack to break this box. And there we go. Alright, next is 3-3. Earlier I mentioned that there's only really one level where there's a threat of me losing a lot of time. This is that level. Um, and I'll explain it once I get to the end here. This beginning section isn't really that hard. It's kind of easy to go. It's an interesting cycle here. Um, I, and yes, you can walk across that gap. It doesn't look like you should be able to, but you can. So I'm gonna, I have to be a little quick here because I was slightly behind, but I should be able to still make the cycle. Alright, I did. Okay, so here's a strat that I'm probably going to fail, but if I fail it and die, it's still going to save me time over just waiting. Ah, oh, I barely missed it. You can make that, but it's ridiculously hard. And the odds of me making it in the run are pretty slim, but thankfully dying is actually still faster than just waiting for the entire rides and stuff. And even with the Odyssey, or at least from what I can tell, it's slightly faster. It's also a little easier to play. That was very slow. Alright, this is the part that's scary. If I grab the power pellet and then die, I'm in a lot of trouble, so here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back for that power pellet. I'm gonna have to go that, back for that pack pellet. Okay. That was really, this is, that was really scary, but at least I made it without missing one of the ghosts. That's the worst case scenario. Alright, we made it through that level with no major issues. That's good. Now we're on to 3-4. Uh, this level, the beginning, is kind of obnoxious because of the this that Clyde ghost you see in that submarine there can be very tricky to eat, especially because I'm using Night Pack. Um, with normal pack it's free, but I mean, it's faster to get here with um, Night Pack. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this box. I'm gonna eat all the pack dots around here just so I don't have to do that later. Wait for Clyde to get close, grab the power button, and then boost without eating. I have to make sure I don't um, break during that boost, otherwise, pack in just won't eat the ghost. Alright, so now I gotta get all the pack dots here. I'm gonna ditch Night Pack for a little bit in this section, just because, again, normal pack moves a lot faster than Night Pack, and that's what I need. So, this section is very, very straightforward. Matter of going out of the way, so I would eat some ghosts here like that. There's a ghost over there that I'm gonna need to grab night pack so I can get some underwater pack dots in a little bit. Um, and also, obviously, to have the all ghost requirement. There we go, grab that. Ghost, and now I'm gonna head over here and boost into the water here. These holes are a little tricky to get around. Um, pac mans it's a little hard to control pac man around here, but. I mean, I feel all right. If you really want to play it safe, you can just grab the checkpoint. It's no big deal. Alright, so here's the um, card. This is actually the only category where I have to die at once um, in order to speed it up. Because in all pack dots, you can get through here on one cycle. Because you can get through all the pack dots and not have to die a single time. However, in this category, I can't do that because there's a ghost off to the left here that'll prevent me from being able to eat some of those pack dots. So I'm gonna get him and then die just to restart the car ride. Um, and now I just have to wait till that point of the level again. So in my, you, you, there's no way you can eat that ghost and then make it to the right and still be able to grab all the pack dots. You're definitely going to miss at least one. With Tass, it might be doable, but we don't. Now all I have left to worry about is the pack dots, and once you learn how to control Pac-Man properly, the car ride isn't very hard to do. Like, you can easily get all the pack dots here. So I'm just gonna kinda sit back here and let all of them come to me. And I'm gonna move forward in a little bit, just so that Pac-Man's easier to see, because this next part's gonna require me to have to move left and right a little bit. This. Missing any of these pack dots will mean I have to ride the car another time, and we don't want to ride it another time. So thankfully I got through that in the best way possible. Alright. And there we go. And the game's auto-saving here again because I have to change my life count. It's also, it also auto-saved in 3-3. Alright, so here's the World 3 boss. Probably the hardest of the bosses in this game, just because of the second phase. It's very easy to die in the second phase. Um, you can kind of use life hacks and momentum to kind of just glide over that part of the stage. Um, 
I have to be careful here. If Galvis hits me, it's very easy for him to just knock me off the edge and then land. I'm gonna have him hit me there. And then it's just, he's gonna do the wind attack, which is kind of cool because it kind of opposes with the other wind. Um, but that can sometimes just throw off Pac-Man's momentum entirely. And now I'm gonna have to eat the ghost at specific times so that Galvis stays stunned for as long as possible. Because I don't want him to knock me off. There we go, that was World 3. Glad I made it through World 3 in one piece. That's a very tough world to make it through. Alright, now it's time for 4-1. Uh, a normal run through of 4-1 is pretty much an all-pack dots run, because you need to get every pack dot for every game in this stage. This is the only stage where the game is like that. So, there's a lot of things that can bounce you around in this level, um, as you can tell very easy to just have pack and get flung all over the place. I actually can't eat any of these ghosts until the very end of the level, um, when I'm going to be given a power pellet, along with this button that's going to lower all the walls and make it so that I can get to the gold platform. It's going to be kind of quick here. I, might, I think I'm on the optimal side from here. Yeah, I'm on the optimal side there, so I'm going to... I'm normal pack, grab the power button, and I kind of have to make my way down and get all the ghosts. Um, I'm gonna have to get a high combo here in order to, which means I'm gonna have to get a few extra lives. There we go. And so the game's gonna once again autosave because I have a, I my life count change. All right, so the next two levels, 4-2 and 4-3, don't actually have ghosts in them um, because I don't know why actually, but they're basically just this is just gonna be all pack dots from the of these two levels. Um, you might have. In this level, I'm probably going to be taking quite a bit of damage, um, but there's a lot of health refills in this level, like these chicken drumsticks are adding more high HP. Um, one thing you might have noticed is that I have 7 bars of health, as you can see in the lower right hand corner. Um, you're not supposed to start with 7 bars of health, you're supposed to start with 3. The thing is though, there's various fruit items you can collect throughout the game that give you extra bars of health. And this game auto-saves, and it would be really annoying to have to wipe your memory every single time you want to do a run. So, it's allowed to already have all of those already collected, so that you don't have to do that. And also, it's allowed to have already beaten the game, and to even have fast idle times and have everything maxed out, so that way, um, the game doesn't have to auto-save after any stages where you happen to beat a score or beat an idle time or something already. Um, and since I have all the everything maxed out already, so I'm probably going to be at 1 HP after this, which is kind of scary. I might die here. Alright, so I'm play it a little safe here. Just so I don't die. Okay, I did not die. Well. The next level, 4-3, is really, really difficult in this category. Um, it's pretty cycle-based, but the thing is... Staying on the proper cycles and getting all the pack dots, especially in the section coming up, is really difficult. Okay, so I have to wait for this platform to go all the way down so I can boost through it. Alright, it should still be on the good cycle. Alright, I made it. Ah, oh, I missed that pack dot, unfortunately. So now I'm gonna have to wait for it and the platform to come back, and I'm gonna try to get it. Okay, I can just grab it and then die, that's fine. So, contrary to what you might think, I don't think you can. You can make it onto the platform before it goes too far away, but it's just barely possible, and it's really not worth going for, um, unless you kind of want, unless you're on like a really bad run or a really good run, you want to try to save it. Um, all right, so right here, I might get to show off something kind of cool here. You can't, there's enough space around the sides here of these little rotating platforms that can bounce me forward to go around them. Um, I'm not going to be able to show it off here because I got some decent cycles. And I don't think I can show off here either because I get them on some decent cycles. Actually, I might be able to. It's a little risky, though, and doesn't save a whole lot of time. But I didn't have to do it. It's so an unfortunate death, but I had to take it because otherwise there's no other way to make it back onto that platform. Alright, so now it's time for 4 4. This is just basically a long downwards winding path. Um, a few goats along the way, but for the most part, this is just kind of all pack dots. Um, and there's a lot of boosting. Not as much as in the, the shorter category where you don't have to collect all the pack dots. Um, but there's still quite a bit. You would think you'd be able to fall from higher parts of the stage to lower parts, but not only would that not really work, because you need to get the bad dots, but the game kills you if you fall too far, and 
distance are, the distance, the distance between the ledges in this case is always too far for you to be able to load. But some levels later on, I'll be able to do some falls without dying. Okay. It's very important that I don't die in this stage, because checkpoints are pretty scarce. And, um, so dying can cost up to around 30 seconds. This part of the level is pretty cool. You get to go around in a couple of neat little spirals, and you have these balls that follow you. I'm going to actually be able to damage boost through this one. I kind of have to here. I'm not boosting here, by the way, because with the way this is slightly curved, um, um, it's very easy to just send Pac-Man flying to his oblivion, because there's no side to it. Like that. I, I got a little cocky there. I'm gonna grab a few pack dots here because I need these and then just turn around and then go back. Right, so, it's actually okay that I died there because I grabbed the one up, and so the game would have auto saved if I didn't die. So, thankfully I didn't. And right here, you're supposed to. Um, you're supposed to go across this bounce pad, but we don't need to do that. This last part of the level is a little tricky. It's, it's possible to not get height from the boost ramp, and so if I miss any pack up here, I have to die and redo around 30 seconds of the level, so I'm actually going to slow down here. Alright, I didn't miss any. We're good. And the game did not save again because I got the life and my lap height didn't change. So here's 4-5, where I'm going to be taking abuse of a glitch that Joester98 found. Um, called Bounce Boosting slash Lava Boosting. Um, there's a property with Bounce Pads and Lava in that you can actually boost at them if you're grounded on them. And this is abused a lot in this stage, mainly because on the Lava, because there's a lot of damage abusing in this level, um, which means that health management is going to be a pretty big factor here. I'm going to wait for these platforms to be aligned properly so that I can... Right here, right here. This pack dot might be tricky to grab. Alright, it's going to be the Lava, that's good. So here's the first instance of Bounce Boosting. I already have all the pack dots and all the ghosts for this stage, by the way, so I don't even have to worry about that anymore. The rest of this stage is just movement. Here's Lava Boosting. We're going to be using it to skip these falling towers. Like that. And now, I'm going to be using it again to skip some more falling towers. I'm pretty high on health here, so I should be alright for the Lava Boosting one part. I didn't take it in the first section. From what I can tell, it's nearly frame perfect to get a bounce boost, and also relies on motion controls. So it can be really frustrating to, to shake your Wii Remote pack and just bounces. I'm gonna do another bounce boost here like that, and I'm gonna do for one more lava boost. Okay, I'm gonna have to die here on it. I might be able to save it. Okay. It probably would have been faster to die, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see if I can get it. There we go. It might have been faster to die, but I decided to take it a little bit safe. Anyways, here's the wall 4 boss. Um, so, this first phase we used to think was RNG, but you can just slow boost to the power pellets. It's pretty simple. It also saves a lot of time. Um, in this second phase, Quavis can rotate the platform either clockwise or counterclockwise. I got this slightly worse than the two RNGs. Unfortunately, I was a little short for that power out there, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. This is okay though, because now the platform is gonna be fully reoriented by the time um, the third phase begins, which wouldn't normally be the case. I can just lob boost for these final power pellets. I don't even have to care on the third phase. There we go. Is that boss done, and now we're on to World 5. So 5-1 is a pretty interesting level. Um, there's three sections of this level, and it's pretty big. It's the only level in World 5 where there aren't pits for you to fall in, as far as I'm aware. You might be able to do them if, you, if we find out of bounds glitches in this game ever. But the way this level works in this category is kind of interesting with the way it's crowded in all. Um, I'm gonna go through these first two rooms as kind of intended, but I am gonna be returning here, but while I'm here, I'm gonna just go ahead and eat all the ghosts, because I'm gonna be getting all the pack dots while I'm here. Um, the gates here are, have some pretty tight um, dot requirements. Also, there are gates in this game that you can skip, and there are a ton of gates we've had ideas off skipping, but it wouldn't really be beneficial for this category, because um, 
you have to get all the tap outs anyways. So you have to all spend the time on walking. So even if we could find routes where you could skip gates, it probably wouldn't really save any time at all. So, so far we have all the best on the Okay, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for that one. These gears are annoying, sometimes we can get stuck on them and not get out of it. And this is where the stage starts to get really interesting with routing and stuff. Um, kind of go off there so I can grab these attack dots. I'm going to break this box line here and grab these three. And I'm going to slope boost. No, actually, this is not ghost. I'm going to grab those three, head over here, break this box. And I'm going to head over here and grab Night Pack. Try to boost on this platform with it. There we go. I'm gonna grab these pack dots, and I'm gonna head over here and break a metal box to um, get some power pellets. There's a lot of dots with boxes. There's a lot of boxes that have pack dots in them. Pack dots in this section. I have to be quick here. If I don't eat anything, I'm gonna have to be really quick. Alright. Got all the dots there. Flies in this final section, but I get him also. And I'll have to leave with exactly 128 pack dots. I'm gonna head over here, break these two boxes, um, get that power thought. And now I'm gonna essentially gonna backtrack um, to get the remaining pack dots that are in all these metal boxes because you can't get night pack until the third section. Um, and so there's a lot of dots with metal. There's a lot of dots in these metal boxes. But thankfully, it doesn't matter because I can just um, slip this right back up to here. Which is only beneficial if you have night pack. There's no other way to pass this box without a night pack. And you can't use it to like skip a gate in any percent or anything. There we go, that's all the pack off. We have all the ghosts, so we can finish this level. Alright, so 5 2 and 5 3 don't have any ghosts, so these are just gonna be the same as all pack dots. Um, 5 2 is a really, really cool level in this one. There's a lot of really neat tricks everywhere. It's a really tricky level to get down, but. The movement is really cool. Like right here, I'm gonna one cycle this part, like that. And then just kinda boost down here. It's a nice little time save. And I think I can get the cycle skip here, and I did. And right here, there's some cool crisscrosses I can do with these platforms. Ugh. I tried to, I think I should have waited a little bit. But yeah, these can save a few cycles of waiting. It doesn't matter anyways, there's a one up here I can get. And that's a tiny little skip you can do. There's a few seconds, actually. There's another skip I can do here. Um, this is one of those levels where you can actually abuse falling to get to lower sections of the level early, like this. Just trying to get to this ledge early because the fall is just short enough to where it won't actually kill Pac-Man. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. I tried to go for an early cycle there. I got. I don't usually get all the pack drops in one cycle there. I'm gonna play a little safe here. Okay, I kinda lied, I didn't play it safe, but I still made it. Okay, this last section is a little irritating. These hammers are notorious for just flinging Pac-Man into oblivion. And they have weird properties with the way they actually do fling you. Okay, pac up right here. And I just gotta head over here, open the gate to get to the full platform, even though you can't skip it, but like I said, it's not really a good idea to try to route that in. 5-3 also does not have any ghosts. This level is a little tricky though. There's a lot of tiny optimizations you have to do everywhere. Um, and it can be very hard to get everything down. Right here there's a cool strat though. You can kind of roll across that gap. It doesn't look like you should be able to, but the other side is slightly sloped. So that's how you're able to make that without just walking into a wall and dying. Backtracking in this level is really hard. If I miss pack outs, I essentially have to die because there's almost no way to get a fire like this. Right here, there's a tiny skip I can do. This skip actually okay, okay. This skip actually saves like 10 seconds. As normally there's a bunch of annoying uh, gears with bounce pads that are cycle based if you have to go through. So now my cycles are kind of thrown off for this section. I'm kind of wait here. I might be able to do a little cool little ledge grab pop, except I'm not going to be able to because the gears are now lined up so that I can just use the bounce pad. I don't think there really is a point that does. Alright, if I'm quick enough here, I can make it to this bounce pad, and I was. There we go. 
I would Death Abuse here, but I think the gears are on decent cycles, so instead, I just opt to take the gears and I can skip the last two simply by boosting into this bounce patch with the There we go. That went well. Is that from the Death? 5-4 is a really fun level in this category. There's a lot of neat tricks you can do everywhere. Um, and there's a lot of neat routing, especially in this first section. It's only slightly different than all pack dots because I have to go... Okay, that's not what I meant to do. I, I need to go back there. Yeah, get that power pod. I, admit, I don't think I've ever done that before. I'm head over here, bounce back, and I have these three ghosts I need to eat. Those are too difficult. Be a little safe here. It's very easy to just have pack mints with them. Um, Plus, you just swap the edge. Here's a gear skip. Pretty simple. You just use the boosting momentum and the ramp to kind of skip over that gear. It saves a couple seconds if you can get it. Cycle skip I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna beat, make this cycle here. And that skips the cycle of waiting. And there's some more crisscrosses I'm gonna do here, similar to what I did in the previous stage. Uh, they're not nearly as hard here, though. And I do have to do one extra thing. Packed off right there. Right, so coming up are a couple hammers that could wreck me. I have no idea what kind of cycles I'm on for them. So for all I know, they're just gonna pop me right into oblivion, and they did not. This last section of the level is routed really interestingly. Um, it's important that I grab that checkpoint and no later checkpoints after that. Um, and you'll see why here in a second. First of all, I have to eat this ghost. Right the box. I don't want to grab that checkpoint specifically. Ooh. That's kind of the risk, though, of doing that. Fortunately, there's a one up here I can collect that will make it so that my life total doesn't go before, below what I need it to go. Alright, so I can still not grab that checkpoint. I can grab this knife back again. Alright, so I'm just gonna take it slow and steady for these hammers here. Excuse my fan, by the way. So now I have all the ghosts and pack dots, I'm gonna die, which places me back at this checkpoint, and I can do this skip that you would do in any percent. Which still saves a couple seconds over doing the end of the level as intended. Alright, so now we're on to the final boss. This world's boss has two phases. Um, both of them work pretty much the same way. Um, it's just in a slightly different environment. The second one is really cycle-based, but also has some really sick music. So why would you want to accept 100%? This is shows the game in its full form, basically. Um, this, obviously, it... I mean, all ghosts and all pack dots in submitting because they're interesting enough to warrant their own submissions, but this category is kind of the... what this If you want to see either of those two runs, you could might as well just accept this one. Because it's both of them in one. If you see both of them as more interesting than any percent. Ooh, I thought I was dead there. So now we're going to be heading on to the second phase after this long cutscene, which you actually can't skip. So this fight is cycle-based, as I said earlier, um, with these ghosts and these um, gears that have the bounce pads on them. I have to be really specific with my cycles here. I have, an, I have an audio cue in the music for that bounce there. Um, I don't need it really, but it's useful sometimes. Like sometimes I'm a little later than normal. Alright, so this last phase, um, hopefully goes well. If I don't die, time will be when I eat all the full time. Alright, and there we go, that's time. So 3858 is actually plus 51 on my current world record, which is 3807. This yeah, this game overall is a lot of fun. This category is the longest category, but it's kind of the other main category when compared to any percent, in addition to all ghosts and all pack dots. So definitely consider all of these categories. Um, if you're looking for something that's a bit more interesting than any percent, then definitely accept this category. It is pretty difficult and pretty RNG dependent, but hopefully I will work on consistency. And uh, with that, thank you for watching, and thank you for considering this run.